Welcome back to Nick's allotment. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I've been up to some other things on the plot. Uh, I'll show you what I've been up to on there. So it's going to be a bit of a mishmash video, a bit of everything. Uh, so let's crack on and show you what I've been up to. Okay, these are the giant veg that I'd done in my last video. I pot them up, they was getting a bit lanky and I thought, oh, I'd better replant some more. But these ones were done in the Bathgate's compost. Uh, I had a lot better germination in the Bathgate, as you can see. I don't know what's up with this one. Don't look very good and I've got one in the other compost like that. So I had quite a lot and this is just the... Uh, The cabbage didn't germinate too bad in those. <coughs> but the beetroot was very poor. Oh, just two. And then I had every one on the Bathgates grew and all out the same packet. So I think these are potted up in Sinclair seeding modular. Now that's uh, a, that's what they're potted up in. So because they never germinated very well, I redone them another lot. But these are all got long and spindly, but I'm going to replant them deeper down. Uh, I just had one carrot in the Leventons, and I think I've had two in the Bathgate. So I think they look equally, equally as good, the uh, cabbages. And they've probably had a bit better germination on both of them and that. But I need to pop those on. So that's where we got to on the bit of a compost thing, troil. These are me anemones, they're just breaking budlock. Nice red one coming there. But that, not every one of those come up. Uh, this is... Uh, Calibrate it overwintered. I cut the heads off the other day. Some bits there, but I'll eat that this week. This is some more calabrace. This is, I'll put me on there for scale. Look, in the tunnel, because I think it's just lack of water. Because I've really sort of ne neglected them. But some nice calabrace there. That should be gone this week. Calabrace with pasta and chili. And those are spring cabbage. Uh, I've put a water tank outside, I'll show you that in a minute. So they look a lot better since they've had a bit of water. So these are the spring cabbage in the green here. So I've cut these, but they've got some like little pups or whatever you want to call them. That was going to see, but I just, well, we'll eat that anyway. So, and the calibrace in the greenhouse, look at that for a head. I think next year I'm going to do. I think that's varieties mammoth, uh, marathon, I think. So that's done well. Next year I should probably plant all the greenhouse up with overwintering veg. It's the only stuff that survived. These are my other half daffodils, what she bought at the garden centre. I think that was like half price uh, bulbs. So some lovely there. Uh, these are my onions I've been growing. I just made these today. I copied Nigel's idea there, but these need potting up because I, I think they're either Robinson's mammoth or Kelsey. These are. They're not going to get massive like show onions. Uh, I think there's tough ball in another one in there. I couldn't tell you what they are. So I haven't got my chart here. Uh, some more here. Those are like banana shallots mixed. They're all coming along nicely. Okay, so these are the Durham early that never got frosted and snowed off. It's funny how I've got a row and then it's just dead all over and I've got the odd ones on the end. One in the end on the soil, but never mind. At least we'll have something to eat. 
Okay, these are me saffron crocus. They've overwintered. Looks like there's plenty of more shoots come off them. So hopefully next year they'll be bigger and get more saffron. Garlic Marco. That looks pretty good. And this one is Garlic Garcia. A few blank spots in the middle. But otherwise it's all right. These are Broad Beans Aquadulce. The ones I put in the polytunnel on my uh, floating bench, as I called it. I think that's what I called it. But I'll put these a bit later. They look a bit spindly. They don't look so good. I had another couple of weeks in the greenhouse. Yeah, so he's got a stop tap on the bottom. Goes through there and I bought another tap on the end. It's got a hose pipe fitting on. So I can just run a hose pipe round the greenhouse, our polytunnel. It'd just be gravity fed, so it won't be that much pressure. But it's just mainly watering the plants in there. Need to put a new piece of polythene on the door. Right, so this is my compost. So I put six ton there and I was lucky enough I was right by the place with the tractor and trailer for where I work shifting stuff so I was doing the back load so I put two trailer falls in there it's so nearly 20 ton there so there's 26 ton there roughly uh, I think this cost about £4 a ton or £4.50 and that's some of the corn that I was taking on the trailer. That's what's germinated. That'll soon die off. I'm going to mix it in. So, I know a lot of people don't like it because they think it's full of chemicals, but I've had no problem with it. And I've bought myself a trummel now, so I might try and put some through and get rid of... Well, it probably looks better in some of the compost. I mean, there's a few sticks in it. It's good just topping the beds up. So that wasn't bad. Trip back. Okay, this is what I've been up to. This will be my... for growing giant roots. But hopefully, if they do any good, I'll take them to Malvern. But I haven't quite finished it yet. I've just finished putting the guttering up. So it's, it's roughly six metres down to the bottom, into the trough, but, so I've not finished it yet. Then I've just got to finish making me little thing on the top. And then this was some pallet racking, I had it, me mate had it work. So the crossbars I had to chop down because I didn't want it sticking right over here. I'd probably struggle to get it in. So I've chopped it down re-welded the uh, joint up there on that end uh, so that's how I'm doing it a little flush on the top and I, I've got, got some more crossbars here and that was a bit of old gridding I found so I've strapped a water tank on the top um, so down here I can pump water from the tanks, so I've got to get a, I should move that T-junction down there, up here, or just run the pipe round and up. It's got, it's got the fitting on the other side of the barrel at the top, and then there's a ball cock in there, so that'd be filling it, and then on there, I bought a little time-controlled, I forgot what you call them, water timer. Oh. So I'll come out the tap. So, <coughs> so on here there'll be a fix on somehow. I haven't brought it down to see how it works, fits on. There'll be a water timer and then it'll be set for doing drippers. But I might have to raise this up more yet. 
just get it up higher. I'll just see what happens and I've got to work it out how the gutters go. And then I did go and see Nigel and I got some muddy boots. I got some more of this, uh, oh, what do you call it, polycarbonate sheeting that's down there behind the tunnel to make a door on the back and then I'll just have to make some on the front. And hopefully I'll get some carrots and parsnips out of here, long ones. So there's 12 across there. I could have got another one, but I thought it might be unlucky, 13. So I'll stick with 12. So I've still got more work to do. I can start filling them then. Yeah, so that's me, uh, the new carrot thing. So I've got the idea off a few off YouTube that's done the same sort of idea and off Terry, Terry King gardening on a budget so hopefully I'll get it finished in this week and then it'll be ready for when we start planting it'll probably be next month nice rhubarb coming there and this patch here might try and put a couple of giant marrows in there if they germinate just got to rotate this over because this is the stuff Joe has. Uh, it's, it looks like manure, but it's it's mainly maize, sugar beet, uh, and other sorts of stuff in there. Just what they make gas out of in the in the old cow jesters. Uh, I think I've got a little video, a uh, little bit of footage or a picture from where I was taking the stuff up there. If I have, I'll put it on. This is a bit of it. Right, I've just spotted in the buckets outside. Sparrowgrass coming up. Uh, there's one here. Another one there, so I've just bought it in. So hopefully over winter, not over winter, the next few weeks I might get some more. I've got some more bucket, buckets to bring in and we might get some early sparrowgrass. That's what I'm hopefully gonna do. I might actually put their water trays underneath. They're probably just the right size. These ones that had off Terry, Terry King. Okay, we've just come up home now. Uh, Looking at the greenhouse and the propagators. Uh, these are leeks. I've got two sorts of leeks in. I don't know which ones they are. These are lots of different tomato plants. They need potting on. And some more tomato plants there. Uh, these are my other half's onions. She's just potted them up. So in the other Voiter pod we have I've got the heat on these but uh, there's chilies and peppers in here uh, some more chilies down there oh I can see this I must get some spray in here look at that folks full of green fly little buggers I'll go and get some spray in a minute, get rid of them, as I kill the lot. Yeah, so they're coming along nicely. These are aubergines, if I haven't said already. Uh, over the back we've got celery. I think that's just like Latham South Blanching. <coughs> these are crimson crushed tomatoes i think up there number 25 they are some gold um i think this is seedlings coming up i think that's rocket 
These are some giant carrots, but I've planted them all, but I've got three at this end, look, nothing. These are for the big ugly carrots. Uh, in there we've got celeriac. There's two different sorts. There's another one over here, celeriac. And these are more sun gold tomatoes. These are my brass brassicas. So a bit mis germination there. Not very good. Right. Anything with the red tape on just my other half's mine's yellow. Uh that's some more leeks. These me sweet peas, that was just cheap seed from B and Q when they knock it down to 50p a packet, but this got some out of there. That's the colours. I think they're mixed ones. I just put all the seeds together and mixed them up. Uh, this is a blue abutalon, this is. When I was at uh, Winter National Trust, it was another garden. There were some seed pods on the big bush in the garden. I reckon the abutalon bush was a saw 10 15 foot high but loads of seed pods on it so i borrowed a couple <laughs> and these here uh red tiger cuttings butalons not cannabis by the leaves <laughs> uh, these are my celeriac that i've pricked out well this is what i've had them out of but plenty in there so Joe's having some, and there'll be some other plot holes as I want on. Yeah, that's me uh, red tiger abutalon. I did, because I put it in the greenhouse over winter, I did snap some of the ends off, so that's the cuttings in there. Some of them are going, some of them aren't. Right, this is what I'm... Right, this is what I'm potting up me tomatoes in so this is Bathgate's multi-purpose compost uh, I've had a bit of charge in a bit of Q4 and a bit of vermiculite in there but it's a lovely stuff not no sticks in it like a lot of them okay I bought this bag of bloom and grow Growers Blend Professional Compost. This was to put the some of the giant veg in so I could compare it with the bath gates. And after I've had a couple of handfuls out the bag, doesn't seem bad compost. And I got that bloody great bolt out of it. Well, nut. I think there's some bust in the machine. Yeah, I've seen everybody else. They get a piece of piece of wood in there. I suppose I could weigh it in for scrap. <laughs> Joking apart. Oh, this look. I've got a mate's engineer and he makes stuff and then this was plastic. But he made me a dibber. And if it's a perfect fit for that. Oh, look. Perfect. So it's just right so I can push it down further if I want to plant them deeper or just go up to the shoulder there and it'll be the right depth. Right folks, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting. get my hands close enough without him thing. See how big he is. There's all sorts in there, all colours. Right, these little fish I had out of Norman's tank when he, he passed away. The red little red goldfish. I did put about 30 in there, but the pterodactyl out the sky, the heron, he come and picked them up. That's a skimmer there, so if I switch it on it. It sucks all the bits and trash off the top, collects them in a little basket.
Right folks, that's it for this one. Ta-da for now. Thanks for watching.